Hello peeps, and welcome back to Project Dozone 2. I apologize in advance if I'm sniffling, but I have a little bit of cold it seems, so I might be doing a little sniffling. Sorry in advance. Alright, so, last episode, I was over here messing around with this cobblestone stuff, and I'm still not 100% convinced that this is how I want to do it, but I will come back and revisit this later, because there is something that I have been putting off for way, way too long, and I think it's about time we actually automated sieving. So we're going to start out with this resonant or this reinforced machine frame here. Which, if I come in here, I now have the reinforced machine frame and the resonant machine frame done. That gave me two good reward bags, a tape measure, and an energetic flux battery. Huh. No clue what that is. Uh, never played with Red Stonic before, so we'll put that away for now. And this machine frame, we're going to toss back in here <coughs> and let it begin. Oh, I don't have the stuff for the resonant machine frame. So for a resonant machine frame... Ah, uh, da da da, where are you? Why am I having such a hard time finding this? There it is. Lumium and Endarium. Shouldn't be too hard. Might already have a little bit of Endarium. Uh, no, I have no Endarium at all. What about Lumium? Nope. So I have to make both. Lumium is tin, silver, and glowstone. Apparently I have a bunch of signalium, which is cool. <coughs> Always have uses for signalium. Oh, I guess I had a quest for that. One of these days I really should just look at the quest book and start making my way through it. Why do I do that? I need that. Lumium. Give it. <clears throat> Alright. Hendarium is... Endarium base, pyrothium, and ender pearls. Endarium base is tin, silver, and plat. So two tin, one silver, one shiny. Then we'll get some pyrothium and some ender pearls. Toss this in to make the base. And then toss this in to make the endarium. Which I probably should have made first because I could have been making the gear while. Well, whatever. So, I've been thinking about how I want to do this. And I think I have come to the conclusion that I want to use thermal expansion machines in order to process my dusts and stuff. This is only going to convert two at a time, isn't it? Crap baskets. All right. It means the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this compactor here, make sure it's empty, and we're going to pick it up. Because we're going to move this. We're going to move this whole thing. And we're going to need sieves, which I have three automated sieves in here. And we're going to take some of the speed upgrades too. I'll want to make more of these, but this will start. This will be a good start. We're going to need our energy conduit, which I might actually need to make more of that. Can I make tier 1 energy conduit? Yes, that'll work. Okay. And we're going to need a pulverizer, which is copper gears, which can I just craft them, or do I have to now I have to metal press them, or
And there's that. So we'll go press our gears out. Copper and darium. And darium, copper. Copper. I need to automate this too. <clears throat> okay. We'll toss in to here our lumium and our endarium gear, and that's going to start producing our other resonant frame. Up we go. Toss you in. Redstone reception coil. And BAMO resonant pulverizer. Which I had a quest for. A basic reward bag gives me a Dirt Chest 9000. Not like I already have one. Oh wait, I do. Alright. <clears throat> now, we are going to need a way to generate cobblestone, which I'm just going to take one of these. Uh, let's see, I have this one active without signal. Let's change it to active with signal, and we'll break that. We're going to take the sag mill out of here. Now, <clears throat> this will give me a way to generate gravel and sand, which I can then pop out of here and put it into... Now, where do I want to set this up? I think I want to set up my auto setting operation over here because that way I'll have easy access to ME and I'll have easy access to energy. So, we're going to set the cobblestone framework up here. And we'll run energy to it. We're going to pop the sag mill in there. And when we turn this on, it's going to generate a stack of gravel and a stack of sand. The auto sieves, we're going to put here, here, and here. These auto sieves will need to have power, so I'm probably just going to run. How do I want to run power to these? I can't just run it behind, which might be the best way to go. Now, all of these auto sieves have power. We're going to give each one two speed upgrades to start. I will upgrade this later. <coughs> and we need a way to provide these with items. However, I've noticed that this thing will generate pretty much as fast as you can pull it out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Uh, how do I want to do this? How's our machine frame? Doing good? Okay. I'm going to want to use transfer nodes. Well, it's going to be a combination of transfer modes and item conduits, I think. So we'll grab some item conduits. Uh, we'll grab a few speed upgrades. Probably won't need too many. And we're going to need some conduit item filters. We need a basic item filter, so we'll need two hoppers. And that gets us that. Because we're going to pull out of this thing on two different sides. We're going to pull out on that side, and we're going to pull out on that side. This side is going to feed into there. And on this side, we're going to install this item, or this item filter. We are going to blacklist cobblestone. We're also going to blacklist sand on this particular conduit. And we need a piece of gravel. Because this is only going to supply this sieve with gravel. Okay? 
So we blacklist cobblestone and sand to make sure it's not pulling cobblestone or sand out of here. It will only pull gravel. And I actually don't even really think I need to worry too much about putting the item speed upgrades in because this is not going to be able to process this very quickly. This side, we're going to install an item filter and we're going to blacklist cobblestone and gravel. Now, I could just do this with whitelist, but I want to use blacklist for once because I never use blacklist. I could easily just whitelist gravel and whitelist sand. But I felt like doing it the complicated way for once. Let's grab our Crescent Hammer, because I think I can change conduit settings with the Crescent Hammer. Because this is going to connect these, and I don't want it to. See how it's going to connect every single one of these? I don't want it to do that. So we'll remove these connections. Like that. And then this is also going to split off to the side. Where, right here, I'm going to put another pulverizer. As soon as the resonant frame is done over here, I will create a new basic frame. Because this pulverizer won't have to run very fast. Uh, basic machine frame. Where is you? There you is. Constantan and Invar. I only have two Constantans, so we'll need... Constantan is nickel and copper. Now, can I do this in the alloy smelter? No. I can, however, do it in the induction smelter, I think. Yes. Okay, so that gave me my constant hand. Now I just need Envar. I have just enough. And a piece of glass. Pop down here. My other resonant frame is done. That's awesome. And we'll give this Invar. No, not Invar. We'll give it the constant hand, the piece of glass, and we need to make a gear out of the Invar. Invar gear. Gets. That'll start making another basic frame. And with this one, with this resonant frame, I want to make a redstone furnace. Uh, electric furnace, no. Redstone furnace, there we go. <clears throat> More copper gears. And we'll need some bricks. Turns out I only need one more piece of, or one more copper gear. Was that done already? Damn, that was fast. One of these days I need to upgrade my laser setup and actually build like a laser room. Because it's not producing machine frames anywhere near fast enough for my liking. Okay, redstone a furnace. Resonant redstone furnace. There we go. And with this one, we're going to make another pulverizer, so I will need more copper. Great. <clears throat> Quest complete redstone furnace. Pitch that out. Quest complete invar. All right, uh, redstone furnace, invar, 
give me a good reward bag and a basic reward bag. Okay? <coughs> and I like that stuff I didn't already have. But, hey, what are you going to do? The plastic, if nothing else, will be useful. All right. We have our redstone furnace. We have a basic machine frame, so we'll make another pulverizer. Uh, I need the redstone reception coil. There we go. Pulverizer. Good deal. All right. Now, the basic pulverizer we're going to set right here. And we're going to split a line off of this to connect to that. Which means I actually don't even need that one. I can clean that up a little bit. Okay, pulverizer front is facing this way, so it is going to import items from the back. And it's going to output all items to the side, and all their sides are disabled. And then here, we're going to put an item conduit going out of there. Break that connection. Now, all we need to do is change the direction of these conduits. <clears throat> okay. So that gives me, once I enable these, it's going to start producing gravel, sand, and dust. And it is keeping up very nicely. From there, we need to extract. And we're going to extract into the compactor, which I'm going to put right here. We'll hook that up to a conduit. And let's change this conduit side to disabled just to clean this build up a little. That'll give this power, and it's going to produce all of our stuff. This stuff here... Now, I am going to have to blacklist items on this. Hmm. Actually, how do I want to do this? Because I'm getting a lot of stuff in here that I'm not going to be able to actually do anything with. Like bone meal. You can't make blocks of bone meal. I don't think you can. You make a bone meal bag, I guess, but... <clears throat> but can you break that back down into bone meal? Yeah, actually you can. Okay, well... But still. The issue is that we're going to end up with stuff in there that we're not going to be able to do anything with. So... We're going to want to filter our outputs. Let's put away... Well... First of all, let's come up here and clean my inventory out. Because I ended up with a bunch of crap in my inventory when I broke that. I already had a bunch of crap in my inventory. So for right now, I'm just going to toss a lot of stuff in here. Come over here and pick up the rest of the crap. And we'll have to figure out what outputs we're going to need to filter away. Now, I'm going to treat gravel, sand, and dust all the same. I'm going to pulverize it all, because if you take a look, if you run iron ore gravel through a pulverizer, it's still going to give you two pulverized iron and a pulverized ferrous metal. If you run iron or sand through a pulverizer, same thing. 
The only thing breaking this down further is going to do is give us a small chance of a bonus output. And if we have constant fire and forget production of this stuff, we should never have to worry about the tiny little extra bonus we get from the extra processing steps. So, instead of worrying about all of that crap, you know what, I think the easiest way to handle this is going to be to put a diamond chest right there to handle our outputs. And then, from there, famo. And that's going to store all of our stuff that we've been producing. I'm going to want to add some speed upgrades here, I think. Or I could do this with conduits. Conduits might be the better choice. Because with conduits, I can do some filtering right away. And I can also upgrade the conduit speed. Yeah, and like right here, I can put in an item filter. Actually, no, I don't even need to do that. I don't even need to item filter this. We'll toss this stuff in here, and we'll just activate all of these. And we'll change this to insert. And that's going to quickly clean out all of the stuff that I've been producing. And deposit it all in here. Now, from here, <clears throat> I need to find out exactly what items. We're going to use an item filter for this. This is an inverted item filter, so that's actually probably a good thing. Hmm. This is going to be where it's going to get tricky. I might actually want to use item conduits for this. I need to figure out... Let's put a chest down to work with. We'll put a diamond chest down right here so that we have a place to work. From dust, sand, and gravel, I need to figure out what items I do not want to go to the compressor. So, let's take a look at gravel first. If we run gravel through a sieve, what do we get? We get... We can make blocks of coal, so I don't worry about that. We can make diamonds, blocks of diamond, blocks of emerald, blocks of lapis. So the only thing we would need to filter out here is flint. So I don't think you can make blocks of flint. No, you can't make blocks of flint. So, we need to filter out flint. Sand. What products from sand do we not want going into the compactor? Ancient spores. Um, ancient spores, exotic seeds, cactus seeds. Now, electrotene. Can you make blocks of electrotene dust? Yes, you can make blocks of electrotene. So we'll have electrotene go in there. What about ylorium? Ylorium will not. So we need to filter out ylorium. Put 
put those things in there. And what else do we have from sand that we have to worry about? Um, so we might have to worry about the Certus. We'll have to worry about Cocoa Beans. So Cocoa Beans for sure. Now, Certus. Will Charge Certus make a block? It will not. So we're going to have to pull Charge Certus out. What about Certus? I know Certus will make a block. But can we get the Certus back out of that block easily? Yes, we can. So we can send Certus there. We need to filter out Charged Certus. Do I have any Charged Certus in here? No, I'm going to have to make one. Now, out of dust. What products of dust do we not want going through there? We've already figured out we can send bone meal. Um, let's see. We can make blocks of redstone. There's our charged service. Okay, let's check these as we come across them. Certus Quartz Dust. Can we make blocks out of that? I would like to think probably not. No, so we'll have to filter out Certus Quartz Dust. Uh, blaze powder. I think blaze powder is the only thing we really have to worry about. Blaze powder and skystone dust. Oh, that will make a blaze lamp. Now the blaze lamp, can we easily get the blaze back out of it? Yes, okay. So we can filter that. We don't need to worry about the blaze powder. Um, skystone dust. We'll make skystone. Okay, good. So we can send that. And I think that was it. Uh, let's see, da 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 Because we know we can make redstone, we know we can make glowstone, we know we can make those bone meal bags. Uh, what about gunpowder? Are blocks of gunpowder a thing? No, so we'll have to filter out gunpowder. That should be our entire filtration list. Now these are the things that we cannot allow to go into the compactor. So what we're going to do is we're going to make another item filter. We're going to attach a conduit onto here. And we're going to put, let's see, how do I want to do this? We'll put the compactor right there. And in the compactor here, we're going to put our item conduits, or we're going to put our basic item filter. 
And we are going to... Oh, shit. I can only put five things in here. Okay, I might need to... I might need to change this idea just a little bit. Because I have more than five things I need to filter out. We have eight things we need to filter out. So I'm going to need another item filter. We're going to want a chest. And how we'll do this is we'll have the conduit come out from this side. We'll need to move this torch. So I'm going to put a chest here. Actually, I'm going to put the chest right next to it. Right there. We'll have the item conduit come around to there, then to there, and then to there. Here, we're going to put the basic item upgrade, or the basic item filter, not on the extract, but on the inserts. Yeah, that'll work. And we'll put that. And then back here, we'll put the compactor. Now, what this should allow us to do, so I come up here, and I grab all of these things out, and I put that away. And that away, because I don't need those. See, that's a total of nine things I have to filter out, isn't it? Yep. Alright. <clears throat> what we'll do is in here, we'll put our first five items. In here, we'll put our next five items. Or next four items. And then this gets everything else. I can now turn this on. And we'll go ahead and give this a speed upgrade. And that will start filtering out all of this stuff. And anything that's on the blacklist should end up in this chest. Anything that is not on the blacklist should go here and get turned into compacted ores. Or compacted whatever. We're now going to have another item conduit pull out from here. And that's going to go to another interim chest. Because we are going to need to filter a few things out. Because there are some things that we don't want going to the pulverizer. And eventually the furnace. So we'll need probably one or two more of these basic item filters. Give me a hopper, please. Actually, give me a couple. We'll grab some more of these. <coughs> hmm. And now we need to figure out... I totally didn't bring the chest. And there's probably a cleaner way to do this. But... Remember, I've always been about function over form. As long as it works, I'm not particularly inserted about how I'm not particularly concerned about how pretty it is. Actually, you know what? What I could do is if I figure out what items I need to extract here, <coughs> I could bypass part of this and just import them directly. Let's do that.
Do I already have an import class? No. Okay, so we'll need to make an import bus. We need an annihilation core, which means I need fluids dust. Which means I need a fluids crystal. So it happens I have most of the stuff I need on me. So, you, 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 fluids. Grind you down. Fluke's dust. Thank you. Make a couple of you. Import bus. Need a sticky piston. Apparently I'm out of pistons. That's interesting. And import bus. We're also going to need some capacity cards. which is basic cards with pure service. There we go. And we'll grab a couple of acceleration cards too, and we'll need some flux cable. That's all the flux cable I have? There, that's better. <clears throat> okay. We attach our import bus onto the top of this, like that, we can filter things that we need out of there. And let's go ahead and just pop in our capacity cards and our acceleration cards. And we'll connect this to the system. It's not going to import anything immediately because you have to tell this... Oh wait, no, it is going to import everything immediately, isn't it? Oh, that's not going to work. Unless I specifically tell it what to import. So, we'll tell it it can import Skystone. And if I were to... I can't put the Skystone in there. Alright, um... We'll tell it it can import Certus Quartz. Now if I connect this, is it going to import everything but? No, it just imported the Certus Quartz. Good. We'll tell it it can import the Bone Meal Bags. We'll tell it it can import Blocks of Electrotine. Let's get some of this stuff out of my inventory. We're going to need a block of redstone, a block of glowstone. You know what? I actually don't want to do this directly off of that thing. Because... Yeah, I'm going to want to do it off of this chest. As I'm thinking through the build, certain flaws are coming to mind. And one of the flaws... <coughs> hmm. One of the flaws... One of these days I'll actually get my thoughts straight. One of the flaws... What was I... Where was I going with that? I can't remember. Oh, well. Um, oh, yeah. One of the flaws is that it might not... I'm going to have to filter the output on this <clears throat> and blacklist those items if I have it pulling directly in from the compactor. That's where I was going with this. Because otherwise, it could potentially grab those items and yank it out before anything has a chance to do anything with it. So that's where I was going with that. Now. Ah, oh, hell. See, that's what happens if you're not paying attention and pop something on there. Now I have a bunch of dust and crap in my system that I have to get back out.
Okay, import bus. Let's go ahead and give it the block of redstone as its first filter. <coughs> hmm. And it occurs to me that I'm going to have to filter this no matter what, aren't I? So, how do I want to go about this? I can use item transfer nodes. Actually, you know what? I just noticed that I'm at the 40 minute mark. So, this I think is where I'm going to call this episode. We've got the build started. It's working. It's producing lots of stuff. We just have to... Oh, man. This is... This is not working properly. <clears throat> because we've got a lot of stuff getting stuck in there. Yeah, we'll have to... We'll fine-tune this. This is going to require some fine-tuning. So, I'm going to call the episode here. Um, we will come back after this episode, and we'll finish fine-tuning this. I think what I want to do is I want to take all of the stuff except for the ores, except for the crushed ores. I think I want to take all of that and put it in another chest. So we will mess with all of that next time. For right now, this has been Night Dagger with part one of the automated metal build. Um, like I said, I know that there are probably better ways I could go about doing this, but this is, it, it, it works so far. It does what I need it to do, and by the time I'm done, everything should be running pretty well flawlessly. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later, peeps.